Hi everyone, this is a uh, haul for today. I got her a couple days ago, but Splash Beauty I have. She's my first La Fa La doll of the year 2023. I got her for literally $10 when she was originally $44.94 at Walmart. But it's her whole set. I already pulled out the clothes, but I have more goodies. So I have, this is what she comes in with, um, her dress. These old pearls are crowned. I have a bit little messy. I feel like there's no product in her hair, but it's very pretty, I have to say. Of course, there's the two different type of size stand holders. Her bag, her two shoes. Well, this is her first pair I saw. I noticed first. Um, her second pair. They're really cute. Definitely ocean vibes. Um, I also did a. I'm also going to do a book haul today too. So. Her bikini, I want to say. Her glasses. They're really cute. Um, of course, I showed you the bag. This one. I really love this piece. I was between getting her or Sway or Prism, but I was really thinking about Prism or her. But I decided to get with her because Prism's now on sale for $19 there, and I feel like, eh. I'll just do this one because she's really pretty. She, has come, she comes with a lot of accessories than Prism does, but... And extra clothes, but yeah, the prison is really cute. And then this is her other outfit, of course. Her poster is super cute, love it. And then here's a little invitation from the queens. It says, Oh, here's her. Here you go. It says, Queen of the show, I dazzle, I shine. When I'm on stage, the world is my pearl. Very cute, I love it. So let's push this to the side. Let's just let her watch because she's going to watch what I have. Today, I bought three books today. Rest in peace, thing account. Um, three books today. Um, yes, I bought three. First one I first noticed was The Dutch House by Anne Patchett. Um, it says, set over the course of five decades, the Dutch house is a dark fairy tale about siblings who cannot overcome their past. Despite every outward sign of success, Danny and Maeve, Ma 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 I guess, are only truly comfortable when they're together. Throughout their lives, they return to the well-worn narrative of what they've lost with humor and rage. But when it lasts, they're forced to confront the people who left them behind. The relationship between an indulged brother and his ever-protective sister is finally tested. The Dutch House is a story of a paradise lost, a tour de force that digs deeply into questions of inheritance, love, forgiveness, love, and forgiveness, how we want to see ourselves, and who we really are. And Patches. I first read this book last year, but I saw this book and many other books as the book of 2023. The other one is, this was the last one. It was Pachinko by Minji Lee. Beautifully beautiful. <laughs> Lee sweeping four generations song of Korean of a Korean family is an extraordinary epic from San Francisco Chronicle. The um synopsis here says history is seldom kind. In Min Jin Min Jin Lee's best selling magisterial epic, four generations of a poor, proud immigrant family fight to control their destinies, is all from a homeland they never knew. In the early 1900s, teenage Sunja, the adored daughter of a crippled fisherman, falls for a wealthy stranger at the seashore near her home in Korea. He promised her the world, but when she discovers she is pregnant and that her love is married, she refused to be brought. She refused to be bought. Instead, she accepts an offer of marriage from a gentle, sickly minister, passing Ju on his way to Japan. But her decision to abandon her home and to reject her son's powerful father sets up a dramatic saga, saga that will echo down through the generations. Richly told, profoundly moving, Pachinko is a story of love, sacrifice, ambition, and loyalty. From the bustling street markets to the halls of Japan's finest universities to the Pachinko parlors of the criminal underworld. Lee's complex and passionate characters, strong, stubborn women, devoted sisters and sons, fathers shaken by moral crisis, survive and drive against the indifferent age of history. I first saw Pachinko's trailer back, I think, two years ago, and I actually wanted to read the book instead of watching the film because I think the book tells more, and yes. Also, last one's Beast of a Little Land by Jue Kim. I saw a TBR 
uh, video of Monica Kim talking about this book and the one there's one that I'm currently reading right now um I'll show you that one too but I like love the art style of this book it's like really nice the tiger but let's read the synopsis by about this book in 1917 deep in the snowy mountains of occupied Korea an impoverished local hunter on the brink of starvation saves a young Japanese officer from a tiger attack instantly connecting their fates in a saga that spans half a century in the aftermath, a young girl named Jade is sold to a Madame Silver's courtesan school, cementing her place in the lowest social status, where she befriends Jung-ho, an orphan who, be who begs on the streets of Seoul. As they come of age, Jung-ho is swept up in the revolutionary fight for independence, and Jade becomes a sought-after performer with a new romantic prospect of noble birth. Soon, Jade must decide whether she will risk everything for the one who would do the same for her. Immersive and elegant, Beast of a Little Land unveils a world where friends become enemies, enemies become saviors, heroes are persecuted, and beasts take many shapes. It sounds pretty interesting. Um, hold on. Okay, this, these are the two books ah, I'm currently <laughs> reading right now. This is one Monica Kim recommended. I already read um, Silence of Bones by June Her. I love that book. It was like strict to what's going on, like the mystery and everything. It was suspenseful. But this book is basically about where a daughter, um, a daughter that lives in the mainland of Korea finds out that her father has disappeared. And her father was a detective. I was trying to figure out a case where 13 missing girls were just, they're missing. Like, they think maybe someone kidnapped her, kidnapped them or something. But, sad part is, her father disappeared. So, she goes to that island, no one. Um, and her sister, her other sister's name, May Mabel. And her sister is a shaman apprentice, I guess. But, but... The back backstory of this, these two sisters lives to live in the village together, but the other one had to stay because she has spiritual powers, where the other one does not, and is more submissive to her father, where the other one is not. So, the younger sister stays, the elder sister leaves, uh, but she comes back after many years later to find out where is her father, what's going on. I get she gets a journal of her father writing in, um, like, the girls' names and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm right at like chapter 11 right now. Pretty amazing. Love it. This one, my mom gave me as a present, The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Um, I say it's definitely fantasy. It's, it's very, <laughs> it can make you feel sad for the characters. I'm on chapter 12 in which a child learns about the bog. Basically, it's about a witch. They, everyone in this town thinks this witch is very evil and that she takes babies and kills them. Where, well, matter of fact, it's not true. The witch is a very good witch. She takes care of children once they become like five or six years old and she like gets them set up for adoption. But she takes care of the child. But for this child in particular named Luna, um, she keeps the child and finds out that the child was drinking moonlight. But I'm not gonna spoil it no more. That's it. <laughs> so this is basically book haul for Dutch House by Ann Patchett, Pachingo by Minji Lee, and Beast of a Little Lamb, Minji, uh, author's name Juhaya Kim. I love the name Juhaya, it's so pretty. But those are my books. The other books I technically wanna read, I really wanna read, I haven't written down. Daughters, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, and the book that's like book two is The Heart of Somewhere. I want to read those two. Violets by Kyung, Kyung Suk Shin, and then Memphis by Tara String Fellow. Iron Widow and Heavenly Tyrant, they're both by the last name, Arthur Zhao. Dutch House, which I have already. Um, The Family Child, You Reach Sam, The Cabinet, The Red Piles, which is the third book of June Her, Winter in Sokcho, Peach Blossom Spring. But I can't read those right now. Like, I can't read the ones I just got because I gotta technically read, finish those two books. But there's last, there's like four last books I gotta read, which is um, Emergency Contact, Permanent Record, and Yolk. 
and The Girl Who Wrote Lon Loneliness by Kyung Suk Shin. Um, I gotta read those four books because those are books from last year I didn't finish. Like, I didn't finish these two. Um, I'm getting there. Um, but there's a lot of pages in these books. Like, the book that has the most pages in here, um, for my book, for the current read, would be actually The Girl Who Drank Moon because that's 400 pages. But The Fours of Stolen Girls is like 384 pages. So, yeah it's so much but they're very interesting then lastly put everything in the bag I got a package I gotta open this a hand cream I got this at TJ TJ Maxx but... and then lastly I need a planner it's cute it's a panda so I gotta write down all my appointments oh these include stickers <gasps> I'm so glad these are cool stickers. Oh my gosh, I didn't know, I didn't realize that, but um, it's cute. I mean, it's definitely cute. I love it. I love it. So I'm keeping that in mind. I have my doll list of like my SO, my ISOs, which actually is the Fierce Edition will be Neon Licious and Swag, Candy Licious as well, but that's a leak um shadow high right now i would say it's glitch i'm not really impressed with rainbow high series five i'm not impressed with it and the last two is the brats kiana and megan my sister wants kumi and nerva so i'm down with that i'm, I'm down with can split them but yeah don't mind really you're not on camera focus but i actually want to open this one first i actually want to open this but let's open this so it's a moisture milk hand cream. It's by Esfolio. Last time I was there, they had a banana milk, um, what's that, what do they call that? Banana milk hand soap? I didn't see that last time. Ooh, it's, it's packaged nice. I want to try this. This looks so cute. It's in Korean, but I saw the cat. I was like, I'm getting it. So I was like, why not? Oh, oh, good. No one has used this. Okay. Oh. It definitely smells like, um, like, it's a light smell. It smells like milk, but like, it's not like honey. I can't describe it. Nutrient rich milk protein exacted, extracted is instantly served into skin and leaves behind only to comfort of naturally smooth and so. Soft and smooth hands. Okay. I did today. Took some take I've taken some photos today, like cute stuff, because they already got like what do they call that? Easter and Valentine's up oh, and St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I rubbed it in and it's like it smells really nice. You're so cute. I'm keeping you. Oh, it's a key. So let's let's open this one up. Finally. I've been wanting to open this all day, but haven't because I've been busy. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. It's Moonlight Baby. I actually been wanting her. Oh my gosh, she's like messed up. Oh no. Okay, I love how the sailor the seller put her in the bag. But she's so pretty. I actually got her second hand. I couldn't get the actual one. Oh my god, and her shoes. Okay, it's a bit torn right here, but don't mind. I don't mind that. If I don't, I'll just get her a new pair of shoes. Okay, so let's let you stand here. I gotta open this first. It's all her extras. Okay. I like the stand color. It's different. Okay. It's in here. That's it. It was just a piece of paper. Oh, it's six and a half. It's her shoes. Okay, so it's her shoes. She's got her stand. I think it's like this. This is my second, actually, Laugh Out Loud dolls. I never bought one till now. I really wanted the Fierce Editions, but she comes with her hat. I've never seen people try to. Usually her hat, they say, don't work, but there's like <laughs> got to be a way to fix Moonlight Baby. Okay, I love her outfit. 
here, Stan here. Her hairish, like, what do you call that? Not, I would say medium length. It's not long like Splash Beauty. Oh my gosh, she doesn't want to stand. She don't want to, is this supposed to go around the hips? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, it's kind of difficult to, ooh. Ooh, her hair's, her hair has hard gel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to wash her hair. This is my first time washing a doll's hair because like Splash Beauty's hair is really soft. And I don't know what to do with the OMG doll because you know, my baby is, her hair is literally hard. Everything else is soft though, kind of. I like her earrings. Let's open up this. Oh, her glasses, her little paper tissue. I'll keep this, but let's see what this BFF journal says right here. This is what it looks like. It says she's a cancer. She's, she's got to be born between June 22nd and July 22nd. So I'm going to say her birthday is July 19th. Um, the stars keep us sparkling even on the darkest night. That's really cute. I like that. I'm going to put that back in here. She's got her scary stories back. That's really cute. Um, what else is in here? I suppose there's some things in here. I love... Oh, it's just a hanger bag. It's a hanger bag. Of course, she comes with her comb. This one was really decent. This also is a hanger. Okay, so we got hanger bags. <sighs> She's, I've always wanted her. <sighs> I feel so happy I've gotten her. I didn't, I was hesitant to get her first, like other OMG dolls, because they don't come with like second outfits. I mean, they come with extra accessories, but I feel like the price where they are, they should just come with second outfit. But this is they don't. So that's why I got Splash Beauty, because she's like $10. I'm like, why not get her? Um, Let's try your hat. I'm going to keep this box. It's like so cute. And my hand smells really good. It doesn't irritate me. This was originally $8, but they put it down for $4.99. So not bad. That's a cute box. So let's bring this. Splash Beauty's outfit. Come here. Splash. Okay, I'm gonna try on Moonlight's glasses on you. Come here. Does this work? Oh! It does. She looked pretty bad. Okay. Moonlight Baby, you're so cute. Oh. Her fingernails are like a black, black nails. Okay. But let's do this first. Okay, she's got her bag. Up, oh, no, sit it up. Sit up against you. Girl, you better. <laughs> I love this little accessory thing right here. It's definitely heavy quality. Doesn't feel like it's easy to rip, but I'm gonna have to definitely wash her hair because this is like so, <laughs> so hard, but I love you. I'm gonna tell the seller that I'm very happy that I got her today. She came really early, but yeah <sighs> come on okay i guess the hat never works um i am in that let's move you right here i'm gonna move you to the side with your stuff i haven't dressed up splash baby i left her like this <sighs> love your outfit though okay so let's see how do we put on this I guess you gotta untie it. This is my first time having um a doll like this. She she's really easy to articulate and to remove her hands. Like they're very easy to come off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with OMG dolls now. Now that I want actually I did really want the fierce dolls, but at the time they were like, eh, hi. And I couldn't get them for Christmas because I was still good for rainbow high. And other gifts. Okay. But she's really pretty. I'm impressed with her. Okay, so let me see if I can get her in here. I know this video is quite short. Okay, so she's ready, I think. This looks really nice. Hold on. This is what it looks like now. I'm trying to fix it. Like, bring her hands. 
by hair. I actually wanted to do Monster High, but I've been more in tune with Bratz. Now Laugh -O OMG Dolls and now Rainbow High. But the definite one Shadow High doll I'm definitely getting is Glitch. I always wanted Glitch. I like Glitch's personality. I don't know about Monique and the others, like Zoe. Um, but Zoe's really pretty too. Carla too, but yeah. Okay, so I got Miss Splash Beauty ready. Okay, with like her hands back. But the sad thing is... I don't know what I'm doing with her arms. Oh no, there's like holes right here. Okay, so. Okay, I'm trying to see what the heck I'm doing with her. Cause she's like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. But there's like so many foot, there's like so many styles to do on her. I'm gonna do this right now, like this for now, because I really like this eye outfit. Yep. Back. So, I think I made a boot. <laughs> I should look, actually, I'm gonna actually look up her pictures because. Laugh out loud, splash. Oh my god, cat's lost. Beauty. I'm gonna look this up really quick. Okay. So, like, they got her outfit right. Hold on. Not shopping. Wait, what? How much are they selling her online? Forty nine, fifty seven dollars, a hundred and fourteen, eighty nine dollars. No, you guys are like ripping off Splash Beauty. No, okay. I really need to look at images though. So let me see. Can I zoom in the picture? Okay, I'm trying to get that set right. <laughs> Here you go. So like she could be in that outfit. Oh, she could actually her hair changes. How? Oh, I really like that. Okay, let me put her shoes on first. I'm gonna. She feels like she can't move her oh, her legs. It's probably because of the dress, but right left. Okay, so I'm gonna put the left one on. Hope. Oh my god, it's so hard. Cause oh no, it's not hard. It's sliding. Okay, it felt hard. First New Year doll is Splash Beauty, and then she's like later because I she was like later because I was trying to find someone who saw her right. Oh my god, her foot don't want to go inside the shoe, it wants to stay out. It ain't supposed to stay out, it's supposed to go in the foot. Okay, that's crazy, but she does come with hangers thingies whatever you, they call they look like body hangers to be honest but all right i'm trying to fix her thing so lift your arm up there you go there you go that's the right way okay lift your hands up okay lift this dress i'm gonna do it like this and i'm gonna pull this down where it's like between her waist I say because it shows you can take it off but I'm not gonna do that right now I'm gonna put her in this outfit style I'm gonna like see what I can do this is difficult with this girl she's really pretty though okay oh my gosh Okay, so I did her, I don't know if you're supposed to tie it around the back, but I tied it like this. This is what she looks like right now. She's having fun. Now her and Moonlight could actually be partners. Um, yeah, updates. No, not really. <laughs> Just a book haul and a doll, two doll hauls, because why not? Let me put your stand back on. So now we have is... Her. Let's put your glasses on. Let's see you. Okay, her and her. Oh my gosh, is her crown so 
supposed to... Okay, it's supposed to be like this. Okay. Her glasses is real. Oh, no. Her glasses... Oh, they kind of like have the same kind of blue. I don't know. Why do you want to go down like this? Go back. Go back up. <laughs> they want to be like this. I don't know if that's fine, but let me see. Hold on. Let me do this. Excuse me. Oh, this one's... Ugh. There you go. That's better. Thanks, guys. 